Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this tutorial, we will be learning how to create a WebEx Python frame and adding an image as the background on the frame itself. So this is a fairly common task that a lot of people don't really know how to do. In fact, a lot of the times they will just uh, create a panel and just kind of leave it to the defaults, which kind of leaves you with a boring looking background. So if you want to spice things up a bit, you can uh, add whatever picture you want as the background of your panel, and that can make your application look a little unique. This would be also a good way to do branding for your um, product if you wanted to, I suppose. So let's see, we will make get a reference to the parent, which is gonna be our frame. And we need some sizers for this. So let's see, let's create a sizer. Make a vertical sizer, because those are handy to have. And it's nice to have a horizontal sizer as well. So let's do that. And we'll call this one horizontal. And let's bump up this font size a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so let's just add some random buttons. So for a number in range of, let's see, create five buttons and labels. Label equals button. Um, let's use an F string here. And what a stick button, num, oops. All right. And I would do a button is WX button self and label equals label. And then we'll add our buttons to the sizer and we'll give it a border of five pixels. So that'll keep them all separate. All right, now let's add our H sizer and add some spacers to it. One quick way to do that is just add a tuple and have it expand. Kind of a cheat, cheating way to do it, but it works. So we'll just do that. And then we'll add our sizer of buttons. Uh, we won't make this one expand, but we will put it at the top. <clears throat> give it, uh, well, we won't put, not really at the top. We're gonna give the top 100 pixel border. So you'll basically shift the, the sizer down 100 pixels. And next, we'll add another another spacer in here. So let's see, you'll add another, do that, and we'll do um, zero, and give it a 75 space. That just kind of helps me position the sizer where I want it. All right, so now we'll set the sizer to our H sizer. And we need to add a binding. So this is going to bind to an event, and we want to bind to erase background. And we'll go on erase background. We'll bind it to this function that we haven't created, this method we haven't created yet. And this will basically uh, tell um, WebEx Python to erase the background every so often. And the reason you do that is that when you put a picture on the background, you basically have to um, have it redraw if you move the, your frame around the screen. That way it will automatically erase the background and re put it back on there so that it maintains that background picture. So let's go ahead and copy this. Oops, did that wrong. Copy, paste. This is going to receive an event. And now we get to work with a device context. So in this case we're going to do Event.get, oops, event.getDC for direct contact, or yeah, context. And then we'll do, um, if not, let's set this up here, if not DC, we will do something a little different. DC equals client DC, a different direct context, stick it on our panel. Get update region, and we'll get the box. 
And then we're going to get the clipping rectangle. So or a set to get clipping rectangle actually. And we set it to rect. Okay. And we'll clear it. And we'll set our bitmap equals to to whatever picture we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use my ducks picture, which I think is a JPEG. Let's see, make sure I do this right. Yeah. Okay. Draw bitmap. Bitmap zero zero. I'm actually not sure if I need this code anymore. I think this might be some old code that I'm that I'm using here because I. You may have noticed that this didn't autocomplete correctly. So I'm kind of thinking this code might be junk right now. Um, we'll try it. With, well, let's, let's try commenting. Well, yeah, we'll try. We'll run it this way, and then we'll see if we can get rid of it. All right. Mainframe. Okay. So there's our frame, and then we need our init method. Oops. Complete on this doesn't always work the way I expect it to. And we got our init. We could call it elf, but let's not do that because that's kind of confusing. And we'll set the size equal to 650. You, know, you could set it to whatever you wanted to, but. I'm going to do that. And self.center. So I'll center our our frame on the on on the when on the screen basically. All right. So last but not least, we just need to make this run. So let's do if name equals main app equals wx app false frame equals mainframe and we forgot to show our mainframe so let's go back and add that quick all right then write out our main loop and let's save this code uh, we'll call it image background pi. Let's see if I did this correctly. All right, so it did put an image on the background, but it's not quite the way I want it. So let's go back over here. I think the reason this isn't working quite the way I want it to is that this image isn't 600 by 450. So I'm going to go grab an image that is. Let's see if I go to Dropbox and go to my books. We will just go over here and get a better example. Let's see, we want image on panel. This cat one will work. Let's take this big old cat picture and we'll go back. Sometimes things just don't work the way you want them to, which is fine. So let's put this over here and then we'll go back in here and change this back to big cat instead. And we'll just rerun the code. All right. So when you're setting a picture as the background of your image, um, of your frame, you need to match it to the size of the frame. Or you need to scale it. Because as you can see, if I resize it, it doesn't work quite right. It does redraw the image. That's what the erase background is doing when I resize or move, my, move it around. But it's not resizing the image. To do that, would take additional code, which we're not going to cover in this tutorial. But anyway, now you know how to do uh, how to add a background image to your panel and make your friend, make your application look unique. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments or contact me through my blog. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.